Hello Bodymetrics Mac users. In this video we'll discuss how to perform and interpret a 2D abdominal waist scan. From the scan tab we'll type in waist below the black view pane and click the enable scan button. Next we'll spread a quarter sized amount of gel beginning from our starting point one inch to the right of the belly button and sliding three to four inches towards the right side to ensure the device glides smoothly on the skin. When you're ready to scan Place the device one inch to the right of the belly button, press the button, and slide the device in one fluid motion slowly towards the right side, making sure the device is flush and perpendicular on the skin surface. This produces an image where we'll start from the top and identify the first relatively consistent white band of signal underneath the skin surface, which I've highlighted. This signal represents a fascia or thin layer of connective tissue separating two compartments or layers of fat. The layer from the top of the image to the fascia is superficial adipose tissue or SAT. We can draw a small rectangle from the fascia to the top of the image and measure the thickness of the SAT layer shown below the image. We can see the correlation from our image scan comparing it to our waist measurement with the SAT layer thickness of 3.7 millimeters at the first small peak. Next, we're looking for a second band of signal below the fascia, which is the fat muscle interface. We can draw a rectangle from that interface to the top of the image to get total subcutaneous fat thickness of 8.4 millimeters. We can see this also correlates with our actual waist measurement. The layer between the fascia and the fat muscle interface is called deep adipose tissue or DAT and is metabolically active unlike the SAT layer which serves more as a storage compartment and thermal insulation layer. We can see the DAT layer looking at our waist measurement graph from the fascia peak to the fat muscle interface peak. The DAT layer is virtually identical to visceral fat when it comes to insulin resistance and elevated risk level for diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. We can track and quantify these layers by clicking the track interface button and placing your cursor anywhere on the fascia signal and clicking. If you need to adjust the tracking, simply click where you want to move it and when you're done, click on the stop tracking button. Next, we'll track the fat muscle interface quantifying both the SAT and DAT layer thicknesses. The next band of signal is the end of the rectus abdominis muscle, and we can track that as well to look at muscle thickness. Below this last marker is the abdominal cavity, where we do see some spotted intermittent signal, which is typically connective tissue or a vein structure. You can increase the thickness depth up to 100 millimeters by dragging the maximum thickness slider which can be very useful for obese individuals to ensure you're able to capture the tissue and visualize those signal band interfaces. The intensity slider controls the level of saturation we see with the white signal interfaces, and the lower the saturation, the less dominant those signals will appear. For obese individuals, lowering the saturation to about 160 can help you see and interpret the interfaces easier. The default scan speed is set at 3, but you can do slower scans with speeds 1 or 2, which does give you a higher resolution scan of the area. Here are some other waist scan examples depicting people at various fitness levels and body fat percentages. In this example, the female client appeared thin and fit, but the scan indicates clear, deep adipose tissue and shows she's actually skinny fat. Waist scans are a great way to show that being thin isn't necessarily healthy. We want to thank you for choosing Body Metrics and hope this tutorial has been helpful. Take care.